beautiful day. Today I show you the brand new Lamborghini Revuelto. I think, I don't know if it's pronounced right. Revuelto. Revuelto. Sounds a little bit Spanish. Maybe it's pronounced different, I don't know. Yesterday they pronounced it and the whole world is posting it on Instagram, Facebook. And yeah, on every single car channel they show this car, so I thought... Let's make a video about this one. Also in English, you can turn on the subtitles. Usually I do German videos, as you can see here it's in German. Maybe I should switch this off. Let's see, English. Um, as you can see, this brand new VW product has many similarities to other cars. The first car that pops in your mind if you're a car enthusiast will be the Lycan Hypersport, which is this car. Just look at it. <laughs> you know Ed Bassmaster, he always says like, just look at it, have a look at it, just look at it. Yeah, like really, just look at it. Like the, the whole design is so similar. Of course, it's a different design and looks good. It looks like the Lamborghini Sian. Uh, for, for me in the front. The back is a little bit like the Countach, which is pretty cool. The front is very much like a Lycan Hypersport. The, in Germany you would say that the form, Formsprache, I don't know the English word for it, like the, the lines of the car. Yeah, the lines. The line language of the car <laughs> looks very much like this car. And also the Lycan Hypersport is pretty high. And this is the, the first first thing I saw with this car, it's much higher. The Aventador looked like a stealth fighter. It was very low and this car looks like it's higher, which could be very nice because uh, I'm a very big guy and the Aventador, I could only drive the Roadster. With the top on in the Roadster or in the Coupe, in the Coupe I can't even get into the car. And in the Roadster, it's also very, very bad. I think in the roadster it was a little bit higher. In the Huracan Roadster, or it's called Spider. In the, uh, in the, with the Huracan, they call it Spider, not Roadster. Um, the roof line was even lower. It was like sitting here on my forehead. And the Aventador is a little bit bigger, but a very, very tight car. And maybe this car is a little bit better, because also the Aventador had the huge middle console with the CD player like 7-disc CD player, which took away so much space for nothing. And the new car is different. As you can see here, this is the interior. Today I show you the, the car configuration, but at first I want to talk about the car in general. Look at this car console. When I saw this, I instantly knew where, where I saw this. <laughs> here. <laughs> it's a McLaren 570S interior. Look at this. The, the flying flying touchscreen middle console in this car and also this is uh, the 570s from mclaren but also the gt also has the flying middle console have a look here you can see in the mclaren gt you have the flying middle console as well and now have a look at this it looks very similar they saw it for, uh, at mclaren and then i thought i think they they just thought oh yeah this looks cool and it saves some space and as you can see here you have some more space for your knee if you're a big tall guy like me then it's uh, much more comfortable i guess and it looks like the car is more comfortable so that's good also from aventador to aventador s the drivability was much better because uh, i think the aventador s had the, had the rear steering as well i'm not really sure the turbo s from porsche has it I think the Aventador S had it as well, because it was much more drivable. The normal Aventador was uh, driving like like it looks, like a star fire on a street. <laughs> if, you, if you've been in Sloan Street in London in summertime some years ago, uh, you know what I mean. You can hear the Aventadors when they come from like three blocks away. You can hear the... And that's how they drive, like... Bam, and with every shift, it's like pushing you back in the seat. It's an insane car. <laughs> Let's look at the rear. You have some, uh, the Veneno, Lamborghini Veneno was the first car with taillights like this. So uh, some Veneno rear light, Countach exhaust style, and it's extremely high up, as you can see. It's, it's mainly, a, is it diffusor as well in English? 
I, I think so. Diffuser, rear spoiler, the rear lower spoiler, diffuser in German. Diffuser? Is it diffuser? Might be, right? But you will understand me. Diffuser. <laughs> Have a look at this. It's insane. Yeah, the brake light here on the uh, bonnet looks pretty, pretty cool. It's a 1015 horsepower hybrid V12. People are happy, yeah, still a V12, but uh, have a look at the A12 from Ferrari. It's still a naturally aspirated engine with a V12, so hybrid, I don't know. It's, <laughs> if you're a car guy, it's still bullshit, like the LaFerrari and shit with the batteries, man. The battery in the LaFerrari, what was it, like 400,000 euros or something for a new battery? Of course they say, yeah, yeah, if you buy a LaFerrari, you're rich as fuck. No, man. It's it's insane. 400,000 for a battery you don't want. As a car guy, you don't want a battery. You don't want to drive a car like this uh, in an electric mode and uh, be able to not drive it with sound. You have other cars. <laughs> of course, it's funny. You can, you can drive the car in electric mode and hear nothing from a parking lot or something. But, man, you buy this car to be brutal in every single way and you want it to always sound like an insane beast and always throw fuel out the <laughs> exhaust system like a, like a monster, like a beast. <laughs> Have a look at this. Looks insane. Looks really cool. If you say this doesn't look cool, man, looks fucking insane. Just imagine this car on the road. I uh, remember when the brand new Kuntash came out uh, insane, yeah, just look at it, like a Cyan Sesto Elemento Veneno mix or something in higher, <laughs> because this car cell is very high, May, I don't know if, but it looks like it's uh, shorter, because it's high, it looks a little bit more like the Huracan, the Huracan has this tiny short wheelbase and is very high compared to the wheelbase, I don't really like it. It's good for corners. I, I really prefer Aventadors and stuff with a long wheelbase and like a big, thick energy car. <laughs> Not the small Huracan is for people who can't afford an Aventador, which is of course wrong because the Huracan is much better in, in corners and stuff. It's for people who are a little bit smaller. For me, a big guy, I need a big car and I'm very happy that Lamborghini always built those big cars for big guys. I can't really fit in those, but uh, the car is big. For small Italian people, a big car. If <laughs> uh, let's just have a look. Oh, that's interesting. That's a uh, new Urus with Revuelto design. So let's just start. Okay, so you see it's a new McLaren uh, indoor design in the Lamborghini Revuelto from VW. And uh, this is a sexy man here on the right. It's a chef of Lamborghini, right? Ah, yeah, the car looks much different here, you see? You have the black in inserts here. Let's let's have a look at some pictures. Ultimate Lambo. Ah, DMC. Car tuner. This is not normal. This is from DMC. And it looks not good. Okay. Ah, here you see the old Aventador. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. Looks much newer. This one looks like a car from 2023 and this car looks like a car from uh, 2008 or something. It looks very old, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see how it sounds with the hybrid. I think they will manage to make it really, really cool and interesting. So we have this. This is the car configurator of Lamborghini. Revuelto et personam is like uh, the senior with Mercedes. BMW ha calls it individual and Audi calls it exclusive. It's like the special colors and manufacture uh, color and interior leather stitching and stuff, which is funny because it's a Lamborghini and it should always be completely customized and individual on you. Let's uh, base offer. Hmm. Uh, let's take the Ad Personum version, which is more interesting because it's more expensive. You are using configuration settings for Germany. Yep, yeah, okay. So, exterior, we have paints. 
I think it's uh, like always the normal paints. They have here different versions. Let's just go to the ad personam. Ad personam. Ad personam. I don't know. Blue Glauco. Blue Glauco. Oh, this color looks beautiful. I think I will. Let's show you the Verde Viper, which is also a cool color. Giallo Tenerife. Tenerife is uh, is an island. Giallo is always the yellow. Giallo is a very old color. They also had it on the Diablo, and uh, I'm not sure did they have it on the Countach as well. On Diablo, 100%. This color, I think it was this Giallo, Giallo, or maybe it was a different Giallo, but Giallo, yeah, Giallo. I think it's just yellow, <laughs> blue, blue. I think it's called blue. <laughs> Blue Eliadi, but I really like the blue Glauco, 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 click, cuckoo, papi, papa, mama, pizza, spaghetti. Let's just take this one. I like this. So, blue Glauco, Glauco, Glauco. Ah, that's that's how I pronounce Glauco. Blue Glauco. Give me a pizza in blue Glauco cheese. So, the rims. We have 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. They're all 21. I really like this style. This looks ugly. Let's take these. They are ugly. I want to see the ugly rims. They are really boring, man. How can they... Let's see how they look. What the fuck? They're extremely boring. How can they put these on? As you Also, as you can see, you have uh, mixed... Tire sizes. You have 20s in the front, 21 in the back. It doesn't say front and back, but, <laughs> but I guess it's in the front and back. I really like the original ones. Ah, and they are also 22s. They are bigger. Those look like the SV and also SVJ and uh, Aventador S. Like with the multi spokes. Let's see. Lamborghini. Yeah, they look nice, but I really like those. Oh, they have sexy. Oh, oh, but with the blue color. Let's check these out. 22s in the back, 21s in the front, diamond cut, bronze shiny. Ooh, that looks sexy as fuck. Already looks like a limited version of the, what is the car? Revuelto. I need to, uh, brand new name. <laughs> Revuelto. Rim bolts and titanium. Yes. Why the fuck do I have to pay more to get titanium bolts? The Pagani is full of titanium bolts. Yeah, but it's much more expensive. But uh, they should do this always. Wheel cap in mud carbon. I don't really care about the mud carbon. I think it looks better without, right? Yeah, of course it looks better. Look, it doesn't fit. looks like... You can't say those words in YouTube, I guess. So, put it away. Yeah, in chrome or something. Why is it gray, man? Put it in silver like the rim is. So, brake caliber. We have a blue car. We want a blue brake caliber and we cannot order it. So, the black one should be the best. What fits to blue? It's like like the ocean, ocean color. Hmm. Hmm. Green? Might look good. A bright green? Because the color is so bright. You know what would fit? A pink caliber. Of course it looks like a, a tuning car from SEMA show, but it pops. Man, the, the turquoise car look. Well, see, it doesn't look bad. It's a Lamborghini. It's supposed to be flashy. And it could be also a green color. It's very close to a green, the car color of the car. A red one, a yellow. I think this one fits. Let's, let's just let this one. Engine grid in titanium. Of course, why the fuck do you ask me if I want it in titanium? Just do it and uh, don't charge me more money, VW. Man. But VW uh, does build good cars with La Bugatti and with Lamborghini. So, Lamborghinis were... What? Am I allowed to say shit or something? I don't know. Uh, they, they build very bad cars. And then VW came and they helped them to build cars 
that can drive. <laughs> so it was very, very good for VW. Oh, it looks very sexy. For VW, that um, for Lamborghini, that VW came and helped them. Style package high class black, body color. Let's try the body color. Yeah, that's good. I can't, can't really see the front. It, it does something to the spoiler. You put it away. I want to see it. Yeah, this this changed. Yeah, let's put it back to high gloss. I think. Yeah, why why I want to put it away and loading screen is in the way. Yeah, it looks better. The black in the middle. Why not? Looks like a sports car. Details. Oh, it already has all those black shiny packages. Boca near the body color front bumper shiny black. This one in body color. You can try. This looks like a fucking Senna right now. I can't say fucking right. This, you see the front? It looks like a Senna now, this picture. Okay, this in body color. Yeah, why not? If it's if it costs more, man, you're individual. Lamborghini rear logo in shiny black. Lamborghini rear logo in matte black. Uh, no, I like the, the silver suits, suits the car. Tailored matte black, okay, 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 I really, yeah, that's fine. Livery, what is the livery stripe on rear diffuser? Ah, okay, let's do those in the brake caliber color. There's some, some stripes on the diffuser, so it's called diffuser in English as well, yeah. You see, pretty sexy, little bit crazy, but... Yeah, yeah, it goes. It's not too crazy. It looks okay. It's fine. So we have this super duper sexy car. Looks a little bit tiny, right? The Aventador was so large. That's what I liked about it. And this car looks more like yeah, like the little one here, like the little McLaren. Like uh, this one. What was it? 570S, which is for... <laughs> For people who I don't know who the fuck would buy a 570s, but <laughs> there are some people. I don't know. You can't be a real car guy if you buy those tiny versions of of a brand like McLaren. Yeah, I have a McLaren 570s, like a guy who buys a boxer. Okay, man. Come on, man. It's Porsche, and <laughs> if you, I, I think if you work for for Porsche or you are in a in a higher position at Porsche, you know exactly that the Cayman, of course, the Cayman drives insanely good, and also the GD4 version and stuff, they are perfect for Nürburgring. But like, if you're a real car guy, and you go to Porsche, you want to buy a 911, and you won't buy a little Cayman or something, which is like the entrance to say, yeah, I'm a Porsche guy. There's a reason for those Boxster and Cayman guys to always put the huge Porsche sign on the side doors, uh, and and the 911 guy never does this or like old old 911s like the super jeep ones and and 4s and only carrera or only carrera s or something they always have the big porsche sign it's it's always been like this always with mercedes like the romanian guys they always put like a huge sticker with mercedes benz on the lowest cheapest oldest mercedes models because they're like proud yeah i can afford a mercedes i can't afford it but I got a trashy one, and now everybody needs to see it. Same with Boxster. <laughs> of course, the new Boxster is very expensive and extremely well in corners. And if you're a small guy, it's a perfect car for you. But uh, if you have Cojones, they call it Cojones, uh, you you will go for a 911. Even if you only can can buy a Carrera, which ah, don't let me don't let me start. We are now talking about Revuelto Lamborghini, which is for people with money. Mostly people with, uh, I don't know, is it also called black money? When you like have money on the side around the taxes. <laughs> and Lamborghini is mostly for people like this. Like normal, uh, rich, wealthy people, like wealthy people, old wealth, would never ever drive a car like this. Maybe maybe in this color, the Countach or something, yes. But like the Aventador versions and stuff, SV is for like bodybuilders and tattoo guys and show-offy guys for small dicks. This like, yeah, 
very cool card to show off that you have a low self-esteem or like too much self-esteem because you are taking like uh, you are going on snowy mountains every week <laughs> or have you seen a real car guy like a, car, a guy who loves cars who drives around in Aventadors no they're buying like GT3 RS or AMGs or something like something reliable and good and drivable because they yeah like Aventador is not really for performance or something it's a show off car which I also like and everybody enjoys uh, Aventador when he sees one so yeah I'm sorry to say that it's for like uh, snow snow hiking guys and bodybuilders but you know it's true right Let's see how it is with the Revuelto, because the Revuelto looks really like an art piece and like a special edition, which is sad for every Cyan and Veneno and Sesto Elemento owner. Uh, Sesto Elemento looks very different. Veneno also, right? But the Cyan and the Countach? Very close. For normal people, I think they would not know a difference. They would see this car and say, Ah, oh, this is the same Lamborghini I saw in Geneva Motor Show or something. Let's go to the interior. This is the interior with a beautiful McLaren touchscreen installed on it. I hope it's not from McLaren because McLaren is <laughs> worse, man. The, the infotainment from McLaren, you can throw it away. And uh, this should be VW and Audi technology, so it would, should work. It's funny here, it's saying 240, so the car is standing in a virtual showroom now, and the car is doing 240 kilometers per hour, interesting. Or does it say miles per hour, <laughs> which would be very fast. Okay, let's check it out. We have, a, we have seats, yes, very nice. We have a little place to put our phone. We have a rounder steering wheel which also here is rounder it's flattened which also the rs models of audi had which is 100 percent it will be an audi steering wheel and as it's audi it's vw we have this ooh, this sick air vent on top which looks really cool we have 240 kilometers per hour a little stupid unnecessary screen for the passenger <laughs> who cares for the passenger seat man uh, we have this stuff which is also the the urus already had the the big shifter to get in reverse and, and do and stop and shit unnecessary also the car here is doing 240 miles interesting why is it doing 240 miles okay let's let's just start. sorry i'm talking so much but maybe i'm entertaining someone we have a classica we have unicala unicala corsa tex Corsa Tex, so they put uh, cloth on the seat. Corsa Tex, Classica, Sportiva, Contrast Color Trim. We stay with the Contrast Color and the Diamond Stitching. I like this one. Fully electric, yes. Can we change the color here? Ah, here it is. Okay, so we have the blue outside, so we take the exact blue as a stitching. And I would like the orange to be blue as well, or green matching to the brakes. Let's see. It takes some time with Lamborghini. These 3D virtual car configurators take some time loading. So ah, let's try the blue Amon. A dark blue is very sexy. Maserati did dark blue interior since, I don't know, always very very long even in the mc12 had the blue interior so it's loading and bam why not it looks very dark uh, i want it a little bit brighter let's take this one i hate dark interiors ah it's only the contrast color okay contrast color blue is good and let's make the seats white. It will fit the bright, nearly turquoise outside exterior color. I see Delphinus. Ooh, everybody likes dolphins. There's nobody who doesn't like a dolphin. 
basic color? Why the why, why can't I put let's try this let's try the delfinos I only have three basic colors with the contrast trim with the diamond stitching okay that's not much maybe they they didn't put it in yet because the uh, car is brand new and I think the car configurator is online since yesterday or today blue delfinos yeah it should be blue let's see it should be it should look cool I don't see a difference yet. Now it became orange. Uh huh. Interesting. And the rest is supposed to be blue. Is it a dark delfinus blue? A dolphin blue? Okay, I think it's now a very, very dark blue. And now let's try to put the blue arm on back and see if it switches back to narrow to the black interior or stays. Okay. Okay, now it's blue delfinus and blue amon. So we have a very dark blue. The car is blue outside, so it's very nice. We have tone on tone, inverted stitching. Uh, let's see if he can make the blue, the outside color in the stitching. Please don't switch to orange or something. Oh, yes, it worked. Now it's sexy. Okay, now, now we have a very interesting car color. Have a look at this. Looks really, really nice. We have the the dolphin blue completely uh, everything in dolphin blue i guess i think this is not narrow it's not black i think this is blue you can see here this is black this is a very dark blue we have the stitching in the outside color and we have a mclaren uh, not a mclaren a maserati mc12 leather blue here it looks fine for me it's too dark i would want the whole interior to be different from the configurator but then you have to talk to those guys and say, I want my car completely customized, which I would do with a car like this. It's funny that the screen also looks like those new McLarens some years ago, like a small uh, screen, which uh, in the McLaren, in the 720S it was, I think, the first car, 720S, where you could flip it and it changed and you could have a little stripe or up. This one looks the same. Maybe it can flip as well. Um, leather pack, Corsa tags, color chip. I don't want it to jump back. I, I don't want to touch it now because otherwise maybe the color goes away. Floor mats, leather border, double stitching. Yeah, we want this and we already have it. This is the, 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 the mat, floor mat. Steering wheel in full Corsa tags. Mm, no. Ah, Corsa tags. Ooh, okay. Corsa tags is Alcantara. I thought it's like cloth yeah cloth is the same but i didn't know it's alcantara i think it's alcantara i don't want the steering wheel alcantara as there is not much alcantara i think this is alcantara okay let's try the thing is with alcantara it gets gets used very fast and like uh, yeah you know what i mean it just w wears off very fast here cloth, Italian flag here, carbon fiber here, carbon fiber here, looks very sexy. And now we have a passenger display, which is not necessary. Cup holders on dashboard, yes, I want those. You can flip them out. Yeah, I think so, yeah, you can flip them out like uh, a Porsche. <laughs> it's 100% the same VW flippable uh, cup holder. Because old Audis and old VWs also all had this. So now we check out the car. I think the video is very long, right? I'm enjoying this. It's funny. It's, it's fun to make this video. It's very funny to me <laughs> to also speak in English. Um, interior, very sexy. Exterior, we also have options. We check those out. Fuck yeah. This is a sexy car. You cannot deny that this is a very sexy car. I hope the long the wheelbase is still from an Aventador and not a Huracan. Uh, I want it to be a large car. Revuelto. The brand new Revuelto. What car do we drive? I drive a Revuelto. Oh man, it looks so much like the Hi Lycan Hypersport. Look at this. Let's 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 put in here um Lycan Hypersport front. Yeah, yeah, now now check this out, man. <laughs> 
Ah, okay. It looks. It looks. If you see those, those are the Huracan headlights. Okay, it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see what I mean, right? The the lines. It's it's similar, but it's okay. It's still you see it's a Lamborghini because of the Huracan face. But and this is uh, of course looks different. Yeah, I saw those in Dubai. And uh, at the like an hypersport showroom, <laughs> it doesn't look good. It's too small, too narrow. It's, doesn't look good. Okay, yeah, okay. It's similar, but uh, it's its own thing. It looks different. Yeah, you can't say it looks the same. So we have, uh, yeah, we have the park assistant and stuff. I don't know if it's necessary in a Lamborghini. Good to have. Even if you don't use it, why not? If you buy a car like this, please always, always full package. Put everything in it. Don't be that guy uh, without headlamp package or smartphone interface. Of course, it's funny. It's a Lamborghini. You could drive it just a steering wheel and engine. But those cars... Car, um, now, nowadays, those cars drive like normal cars. And, uh, so those systems are good because then you can make a road trip to Monaco or something. Or maybe London. London is for big ballers. If you're a guy from like Germany or something and you go to London with your car, then you're a big baller. If you come from London to to Europe to, to <laughs> now, now now they with the what was it, Schengen or something? No, Schengen is the older one. Brexit, yeah, with the Brexit, is it? It's not Europe anymore, right? <laughs> but if you are like uh, Tim Burton, like Schmi, and come from London to Germany, man, it's much cheaper here than your cheap cheapskate. <laughs> and if you go from Germany to London, uh, then you have money with your car. Drive around Sloan Street, show off your car, then you have money. Of course, Tim Burton has lots of money. He already had money when he was younger. Uh, because his family was, I think, working really intelligent and smart. I think it was a cookie factory or something, right? I don't know if this is a secret. I know Tim, and uh, yeah, let's not talk about Tim. Steering wheel, equipment, equipment, floor mats. We have everything you could wish for in the car. And this is the final car, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It would be really cool if you saw the video until now uh, then you can give me a thumbs up uh, a like and subscribe and then I'm very happy I'm very happy about every single subscriber because I don't have many of them yet and uh, so yeah every every like every comment I really like to hear your opinion about this car and thank you very much for watching my video and uh, Namaste and uh, sayonara, goodbye, ciao, ciao bello, ciao bella, maybe there's a bella watching this, and uh, au revoir, bon voyage in your life. <laughs>